Hey YouTubers, how are you? So today I need to make a cake, but I can't put any sugar in it. What am I gonna do? Well, this pear almond and honey cake is the perfect solution. You need to get three eggs and three pears. So first things first, I'm gonna split my eggs from my yolks. So I'm gonna beat these egg whites till they form nice stiff peaks. So to my yolks, I'm gonna add technically my wet ingredients, which are about 100 grams of honey or maple syrup and about 50 milliliters of olive oil. So I've now got three juicy pears. I'm simply gonna grate these with the skins on right down to the core and add that to the wet mixture too. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of almond extract, about that much. So to this, we're adding 225 grams of ground almonds, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda too. Let's give that a good old stir. So your mixture's probably gonna get a little bit dry at this point, but we've still got the egg whites to add back in, which will help loosen it up. Very last step in terms of ingredients and mixing is to fold in the egg whites. That's quite important when you fold egg whites in to use a metal spoon. And the reason this for this is it doesn't beat out the air. And basically, because there is any raisin agents in here, no flour, that air is really, really important to keep in here. So now I've got a nine inch spring form tin that I've greased and lined. And I'm just gonna put our mixture in there very gently, not to get rid of that air. So gently patting it down. This isn't the prettiest cake right now. So just adding a layer of flaked almonds on the top before it goes into the oven will make it that little bit extra special. Into the oven it goes. We're just gonna bake it in the oven for 160 degrees. So it's a cool oven for about an hour's time. The smell of this is delicious. I'm just gonna get it out of its tin and serve it up. So there we have it. I needed a cake with no sugar and I've got a pear, almond and honey cake that smells absolutely delicious. If you have a dish dilemma that we can help you with, then make sure you subscribe and comment in the box below. See you soon.